there are a lot of misconceptions about deaf people. For some deaf people, just after they're born, they have a language development delay because they're learning English through their eyes. Whereas hearing people are picking up the English through sound that's all around them. And it can take a long time for a deaf person to catch up all the way through school and all the way through college. Also, deaf people use English as a second language. Their first language is Irish Sign Language, ISL. And it has its own structure and its own grammar that's very different from English. Some people think that all deaf people are able to lip read and you get 100% of the information. But that's not the case. It can depend on whether the person talks fast, if they mumble, if they're moving their head around an awful lot. And there are words that kind of sound different, but they look the same. Like bat and pat, for example. Also, some people think that the interpreter is there as a personal assistant for the deaf person, but they're not. They're just there to translate the information into Irish Sign Language. Some deaf people get support from a note taker. Because if you're trying to look at the board and take notes and look at an interpreter at the same time, it's really confusing. So having a note taker means that the deaf person can focus on the interpreter and focus on getting the information. Some deaf people use proofreading, especially if you're doing like a big project. That can be a really important part of the work that you do. And English is so important there. But because English is your second language, having the support of a proofreader means that you can get the English changed into academic English. Some lecturers aren't comfortable with the idea of deaf people having a lot of supports. And they think it gives them an unfair advantage. But it's really to address the fact that deaf people are disadvantaged from the start. English is their second language, but English is everywhere around them. All their books are in English, all the lectures are in English. And also some deaf people really get isolated from the rest of the class and don't get involved in sharing ideas and get involved in discussions. So they're at a disadvantage. So the note taker and the proofreader and the interpreter are just there to address that. Some lecturers don't know what to do when they're dealing with a deaf person because they've never met a deaf person before. They've never had to interact with a deaf person. You know, you can have the lecturer referring to a deaf person in the third person, even though they're in front of them, saying to the interpreter, ask him or ask her, whereas the relationship should be between the deaf person and the lecturer directly. And the interpreter is only there to translate.